Jesus, I petition the Holy Ghost right now. I ask that you forgive me for my sin. Amen. So that I may have Holy Ghost preaching power. From all that. Anoint the word. And anoint this here, your preaching. I ask it all in the mighty name of Jesus. But I ain't just asking. I claim my life yeah, 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 yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. And the church said, Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. I truly thank God for being here. Yes, sir. I thank, thank God, God for Jesus. Yeah. I uh, thank you for where's the pastor? <laughs> I thank you for your invitation. Yes, sir. I met the elder back here in November. We share the same eye doctor. So those of you that saw me with them red dark glasses on, we're trying to be cool. <laughs> Sometimes the light affects me. But uh, we, we share the same eye doctor and and my eye doctor, he was several times, he said, he said, Reverend, I want you to meet a friend of mine that's a pastor. And I said, okay. I said, okay. Then he brought it up again. Then he brought it up again. I said, okay. I have to wait till God speaks. See, I may not act every time you call on me. Yeah. I may not respond every time you call on me. Mm -hmm. But I don't hesitate when the Lord speaks. Amen. Yeah. So he asked us to set it up, and we met uh, this past November in Louisville at the uh, Cracker Girl out on Dixie Highway. And you know, my doctor told me, he said, I have no doubt that y'all don't know. I'm just going to get off. And when I met him, we hit off. But the Bible says you test the spirit by the spirit. And what that means is if the spirit of God is working in you, as you interact with people throughout the course of the day, you would know if the Spirit of God is working in that person. Yeah. The Holy Ghost will let you know. But we met. We hit right off. I've come up several times. I took him to lunch. He took me to lunch. In fact, when, when we leave here, and I'm so glad to see you, yeah. I told him, I said, I'm so glad to see you. I said, I got visitors here. We're going to our beds. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I was careful about how many people I invited. <laughs> You see, I'm the kind of preacher that I'm going to do whatever it takes to get you in church. And the ones that's here, I told myself, I'm going to take you to death. But I was careful about how many I invited. <laughs> but I want to thank God again. I want to thank the pastor. And, and, and let me tell you something. And, and Pastor Fisher, I want you to remember this. Over in John 15, 16, the Lord said, I chose you. You didn't choose me. He said, and I ordained you. Stay with the Lord. Everybody ain't going to accept it. But you stay with the Lord. Everybody ain't going to even love you. But you stay with the Lord. I'm learning that some of the worst folks are church folks. <laughs> Why we worried about those out there in the world, out there in the street? We know about them. Some of the worst folks is church folks. <laughs> I came here to tell the truth. Yes, sir. <clears throat> out of Texas, they called the Texas boys. They actually had a song, y'all said, Be worried of your church folks. Be worried. And you know, I, I learned and I'm still learning that, uh, you know, folks will tell you, you say, I got Jesus. I got Jesus, and they're excited about telling you that. Wow. But let me tell you what makes a difference. Mm -hmm. What makes a difference is when Jesus got you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what makes a difference. Yeah. 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 Because if you can have Jesus, you still doing the same old thing. Yeah. But when Jesus got you, yeah. Amen. It's a different life. Yeah. It's a different life. Yeah. 27 years ago, I'm committed to tell this story. 27 years ago, I was nothing but a drug addict. Alcoholic, food. I ain't gonna leave nothing out. Twenty-seven years ago, if someone had came to me and said, "Don't you know one day you're gonna preach?" I'd probably laugh at them. 
and probably would have been hiding in. <laughs> but September 23rd, 1993, Jesus and me checked into Our Lady of Peace. Come on. I checked in because I had a drug habit. Jesus checked in because he had the power to deliver. That's right. right. 30 day program. But in 18 days, the Lord told me to walk. Come on. John 8 36 said, He that the Son of Man sets free. It's free indeed. It's free indeed. Come on. It's free indeed. Yes. I'm committed to telling this story. Lost everything, even a good wife. And when, when, when I came out, I'll leave a piece of devil didn't waste no time. Because he was mad at me. He was angry with me. He didn't waste no time. So my ex wife called me and she said, Hey, I want to be. I checked into a hotel and uh, had a little radio with me and just got out of church and I'm laying there in the bed and I'm hurt, I'm crying. Yeah. You know, because I knew my drug and <coughs> drinking days was over, but she didn't. Right. In the 13 years I was with, I told her every lie you could tell. Yeah. But I knew. Yeah. And I'm laying there in the bed, I'm going to get to the word. See, I do more talking than I do preaching. <laughs> yeah, I do more talking than I do preaching. I'm laying in the bed, I got the radio on, and, and I'm sure I had heard this before because I've been in church all my life. But it wasn't meant for me to get it then. I heard this preacher say, Greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. I have. It struck a nerve. And he said, Come on now. And let me pray for you and anoint you. That was for me. Mm -hmm. So show up, I freshened up, went down into the church, and, and, and I heard him say, I'm going to pray for you to want be prayed for, and I'm going to anoint you. I waited until everybody left. I walked up and introduced myself to that preacher, and I told that preacher, and I mean, I'm looking at him face to face. I told him, I said, it's awful dark in my life right now. It's awful dark. Because I'm hurting like I ain't never hurt before. That preacher looked at me and said with a loud voice, Praise God! Right. <laughs> and I'm looking at him, I'm saying, now, is he crazy or what? <laughs> is he nuts? I just told him I'm hurting this dog in my life, and he said, Praise God. Well, I didn't get it then. I don't know how much time had passed before I got it. I learned that no matter what the but dig that you in, no matter what your situation is, that you in, you can praise your way out of it. That's right. I said you can praise your way out of it. Because we know that when praises go up, the praises go down. Amen. But I want to tell you something you may not know. When the word of God goes up, the power that's in this word is activated. And it will take care of whatever you're going through. There is a word from the Lord. Yeah. We ain't gonna be here long. I don't take all day. And I don't take all day to preach. In fact, those of you that's got a cell phone, I'm, I'm gonna give you three minutes to call home. Tell them one more go. Cut the burner down low. Because you're on your way. And if you have any meatloaf, cabbage, and mashed potatoes, I ain't talking about Sydney Pie yet. I'm talking about Red Bull. There is a word from the Lord. You're going to find that word in the Gospel according to John, chapter 1. Gospel according to John, chapter 1, verse 1. And it says, In the beginning, was the word. Oh yeah, the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. For such remember the word. Remember the word. That's what we need to do. Because there is a word for everything that you're going through. There's a word. Everything that you're going through. Remember the word. Jesus said 
I'll never leave you. Nor forsake you. I'll be with you. Always. Even until the end. And you know, as children of God, because Satan ain't worried about the world if he be dead. But as children of God and saints of God, we are forever being attacked. Amen. In yes. some way. Amen. We're forever being attacked. Amen. Isaiah 54 said, No weapon. <laughs> against I like that. Shall prosper. Form against you. Right? Shall prosper. I like that. Yeah. And what that tells me, see, Jesus was telling us that you're going to be attacked. Yes. Sure. Ain't no getting around. You're going to be attacked. Yes. Sure. But the word is, Jesus said, It ain't going to prosper. Yeah. I don't care how you attack. It ain't going to prosper. Then John 4, 4, you heard me mention it. Greater is he that is in me. Is he? Yeah. That's in me. Yes. Than he that's in this world trying to destroy me. Yes. Remembering the word. Yes. Jesus said over in Revelation, he said, I am. Mm. I am. Yeah. And Omega. Yeah. I'm beginning of everything. Yeah. And the end yeah, right. of everything. Yeah. Now, the Bible just told us that in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God. Yeah. And the Word was with God. What do you think is going to be in the end? Hmm. What do you think is going to be in the end? Hmm. The Word. Get your house hey, in order. Hey, and if it's in order, keep it. Hey, this thing is winding up. Yeah. Time is winding up. Hey, you see the sign. For those of you who are not familiar with Revelation, read it. Right. But let me let me say something to you first. Before you read it, pray. Yeah. Because when you read it, it's going to scare the hell out of you. I gave you a fair warning. Yeah, you did. But anyway, forget this though. If it scares the hell out of you, this has done its job. Yeah. I tell folks all the time, I thank God, I do, I thank God every day for saving me and delivering me. I thank him that he allowed my mother to live long enough for her to see him change my life. Mm. I thank him for that. Amen. And she didn't have to go away from worrying about her oldest son. Yeah. I thank him for that. Mm -hmm. But let me inform you, because the Bible tells us, you're going to reap. What is that? You're going to read yeah. what you sow. Yeah. It says if you sow a good seed, yeah. you're going to read that. Yeah. If you sow a bad seed, yeah. you're going to read that too. Yeah. God's word is true. Yeah. You know, when I, I asked him, I, I, I came out of the shadow when this is how it happened. And I was standing there in the mirror drying off. And, and finally I saw what others seen, but I, I couldn't see it. I'm standing there crying. Because I finally saw me. The drugs had me in such denial. Mm -hmm. But I'm standing there crying and I'm crying off and I started crying and I couldn't stop. Right. I said, Lord, you got to help me. He spoke to me. He said, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what else he said? He said, I'm going to beat you too. Yeah, right. I'm going to beat you. Come on, yeah. And I thank God I survived the beating. Yeah. Yes. Because I didn't think I was. Yeah. God is a good God. Yeah, yes, he is. He's a yes. merciful God. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And his mercy lasts yeah. forever. Yes. Yes. How can you not love him? All right. How can you not love him? All right. We ain't even worried. Right. Unworthy right. preachers that we are. Yeah. We ain't even worried. But the Bible said, he can and he won't deny his own. Yeah. Yeah. No matter how low that we are, dirty we are. He ain't going to deny it. He loves you. Yes, he does. Yes. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. Remembering yeah. the word. Isaiah 43, verses 18, 19. Some of y'all need to stop thinking about what it was. <laughs> stop thinking about what it used to be. Yes. How it used to be. Yes. Stop thinking about what it was. Come on. That's an 18. In 19, Jesus said, I'm going to do a new thing. Come on. <laughs> I'm excited. Yes. He said, I'm going to do a new thing. Yeah. Don't think about what books. Every day that the Lord wakes us up yeah. is a brand new day. Yeah. It's a new day 
for mercy. Amen. Yes, sir. A brand new day. It's a new day, it's a new day for strength. Yeah. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new day for walking. Yeah. For talking. Yeah. Being able to do what the Bible was created to do. <laughs> Don't you know you blessed? Yes. Oh, yeah. That old saying says you can look around and see. I'm blessed. Yes. 70 years old. Half of my life drugging and drinking. But when I gave my life back to God, He made all things.
oh my aunt. And I'm like, can she do it? So she said, well, she said three legs. She said, you got two more coming. I said, no man. <laughs> she said, you know what that means? She said, I'm going to tell your mom. I said, my mom will be a devil. <laughs> These things are missing. Yeah. Grandmothers. Yeah. Great grandmothers. Yeah. Grandfathers. Yeah. Great grandfathers. Yeah. They taught us the value of life. Yeah. They instilled into us the word. Yeah. The word. You're going to need this. Amen. For every day and everything, you are going to need this word. Amen. And as I said, in here, there's a word for whatever it is that you're going through. Right. Right. Somebody that's getting ready to face surgery. Don't you worry about it. No. Don't you worry about it. God got it. Yes, he does. God got it. Does what the Bible tells us by his grace. We are here. Yes, sir. We hear. Amen. The devil's a liar. Yes, he is. And been lying to us all my life. Yeah. My great grandma used to say, he's a liar, he's no true family. That's right. He don't know what it is. That's right. He don't know what it is. But in the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was with God. Yeah. It's going to be the same thing in the end. Come on. The word of God. My advice to you is hold on. Yeah. Hold on to the hand that never changes. Holding on to God's unchanging. In the song, they say, Build your hopes on things eternal. On things eternal. And hold on yes. to God's unchanging hand. Yes. Don't ever let go. Yes. Don't ever let go. If things are not right for you right now, get back. That's right. Get back. Come on. Get back to the Word. Yeah. He has already forgiven you. Now get back. Make your way back home. Yes. God bless you. I thank God for being here. I thank God for the pastor back here. Support your pastor. Amen. Stand by your pastor. Come on. And God's going to bless you. I told my church last week, there's two sure ways of getting a blessing. First of all, bless the church. Amen. Okay. Bless the pastor. Right. Then bless somebody else. Yeah. Even when you need one yourself. Right. Yeah. But we got a lot of selfish people. You ask me to help somebody, but help somebody, I need to help myself. <laughs> <laughs> bless somebody, I need to bless myself. Deny yourself. Yeah. And bless somebody else. And watch how God blesses you. You know what? Part of my prayer every day, part of my prayer every day, I said, Lord, uh, don't just bless me, but bless me to be a blessing oh, yeah. for yeah. someone else. Now that's two sure ways of getting a blessing. Bless the church, bless the pastor, bless somebody else. Deny yourself. Deny yourself. Some of you women in here got more dresses than you can wear. <laughs> you can't put them all at, all at the same time. Got more shoes than you can wear. Some of you men in here got more clothes than you can deal with. But you know somebody that don't have bless somebody else. Oh,
pray that you receive something from the Lord. Yes, sure it. Remember it. The word. Yes. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Those are the churches open. If you haven't given your life to Christ, now's the time. Don't put off today. Tomorrow what you can do today. Don't put it off. Time's winding up. Yes. Thou said no man knows the day. Nor the hour. Not the hour. Yes. When the Son of Man shall appear. Come on. Man. Jesus himself don't even know. God's going to look at his son that day. And say the day is today. Don't wait till that sky crack wide open. Yeah. Gabriel sounds the horn. Because it is too late. It is too late. Let the church say amen. Let the church say Yes. The church said. Yeah. Yeah.